Traffickers, this is Megan. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am back today with a, a little product um, kind of demo for you for Tombow. So this month they sent me this Tombow Mono Correction Tape Retro and <clears throat> I kind of was not sure how to use this creatively because correction tape really isn't, I mean, that's not what you think of when you think of creative products or projects or, you know, craft projects or anything like that. So I saw a bunch of the design team members already, you know, using this and just coming up with these great projects. And I kind of wanted to do something my own. So what I decided to do, and I actually already tested it out with this cut apart. I got this cut apart from the Click Kits design store or the Click Kits kit club. I was um, a member of their kit club um, through this month and this was from I think December. I don't remember. Every month they have a cut file that comes out with their kit and this was from I think December. I might be wrong but I thought it would be kind of cool to use this as, like, instead of, um, you know, like, texture paste or modeling paste or something like that. I thought using this Tombow Mono Glue or correction tape would be cool. I already did try it out, and I liked the way it looked. I didn't want to use the paper that I tried it out on because it was just a scrap piece of paper. So, I'm going to go ahead and start doing this again. Oops. And... For some reason, my stencil kept, um, like, making the correction tape kind of, I don't know, stop up. So, it's not the easiest thing to do, but it works, and I really like it. So, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to make a layout with... And I don't know why, maybe I'm using it wrong, but it like keeps getting off the track. So maybe you need someone that can use correction tape the right way. I don't know. It actually didn't happen that bad when I was just testing it out, right? Of course, when you're live and doing it for real is when you have all the problems. <laughs> Am I the only one that has troubles like that? I hope not. See, I think I'm just pushing it weird. I don't know. And then I have to like push it back. But see, that's the nice thing about it being correction tape because it's not going to look perfect anyway. It's going to look kind of um I don't know what to say, like grungy, I guess. Okay, you know what? I'm okay with that. So let's move on to this side. Because when you pick it up, a little bit of it is going to actually stick to the stencil itself. Just from the overlap. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like grunge it up a little bit and make it not look, you know, perfect so that it doesn't look so weird. Okay, you guys, so now I can show you the finished piece. 
So this is what it looks like. There were a couple spots where it didn't drag along perfectly and I'm okay with that because it's not going to look perfect in the first place when I pull it off of the um, the cut part anyway or the cut file. So I am totally okay with imperfection with this kind of technique. So so there we go that looks really cool I like it you just kind of have to smooth down a few places and it does kind of want to come up so I'm thinking I might use some Mod Podge to go over it just because I don't want it to like start flaking after a while um, so let's see if I can find my Mod Podge or Mod Podge. I do not see it. <laughs> so I might just have to do that off camera and come back and make the layout. But this is what it turned out to look like. It actually looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. Because when I did the test run, I just wasn't very happy with how it turned out. But I actually really, really like it. It gives it kind of like a grungy look, unfinished and just kind of fun. So I <clears throat> am going to find my Mod Podge. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here we go. I will just use, let's see. And I probably want to be very careful. I don't know if this brush will be a good brush to use, but we'll try it and see how it, how it looks. Because I just want to make sure that it stays down. And the nice thing about Mod Podge is that it um, dries clear. So I will just go ahead and do this. I don't even know what photo I want to use or anything yet. So I'm going to stop the camera. And then when I come back, I will ha start the layout going. So I hope you enjoyed this idea. I thought it was a little bit different and kind of fun. There was actually another idea that I wanted to try with the correction tape. So I might come back and do that one as well. Okay guys, I am back and the background is all dry now as you can see. The only bad thing about Mod Podge is that you can kind of see the glossiness of it and where I brushed it on and stuff. So I guess that's the only downside to using something like Mod Podge to make sure that that the, the correction tape stays down. Um, I know you can, you could probably use something like um, matte medium or something like that. I've heard good things about that as a glue. Um, I've never actually used it, so I don't know how it would look if it would dry glossy or whatever. Um, but yeah, that is how it turned out. And I'm really happy with it. Now I just need to find some photos and get to work creating a layout. So make sure that you watch out for that video and I will see you later. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.